This is Matt Crockett and welcome to Freestone County, Texas, where in this video, I'll take the container cabin that I built in part one, add the finishing touches to the outside and furnish the inside. While I was building this container in different sales and at different times, I bought two contiguous pieces of property that equal 63 acres. I cleared a road and an open area and gated it. That brings us to the present. Hey, I've got a guy coming in a few hours to pick up this container that I started working on about nine months ago. He's gonna take it from my lot here in Dallas, about an hour south down the freeway from Dallas to Houston. This move was a little nerve wracking for me, not only because I have a lot of stuff attached to the outside of the container, but also because when I started clearing my property, I found that a creek runs closely parallel to the front property line. So you go in the gate, turn left immediately and drive along the creek, then make about a 180 degree turn and cross the creek at a low point. That's no cakewalk for the delivery guy. Looking good. Here's a great way to bend a staircase in three, two, one. Ouch. A come along solves that problem later. In between the work, I took a series of not very serious hunting breaks, mostly just to check out the property. I bet you've never seen ambulatory masonry. No, that's not the right word. Fluid masonry. This is a grill base that I've built before and then pulled down and rebuilt here. I didn't expect the top to break into multiple parts, but it wasn't tough to rebuild.
I think the real question when you look at a project like this is, is it worth it? Unequivocally, from my perspective, the answer is yes. It's hard to explain what it's like to spend the night in something that you built. It's deeply and unusually satisfying. This may seem at odds with my current plan, which is to sell this property, but I'll use it until it sells, and then I'll do this all over again somewhere else. For me, all the fun is in the journey. So long from Freestone County.